Hey friends, welcome to part three of our Azure AI Fundamentals Ultimate course. Let's start with question number 27. You are developing a solution that uses the language service. You need to identify the main talking points in a collection of documents. Which type of natural language processing should you use? Your options are language detection, sentiment analysis, entity recognition, key phrase extraction. Friends, the correct answer here is key phrase extraction. It is a type of natural language processing used to identify the main topics or talking points in a collection of documents. It extracts the most important words or phrases that summarize the content of the text. Now, language detection determines the language of the text, but does not extract key topics. Sentiment analysis identifies the sentiment. It can be positive, neutral or negative of a document. Again, does not highlight key points. And entity recognition identifies specific named entities like people, places, or organizations, but does not extract general key phrases. Next question. You have a solution that analyzes social media posts to extract the mentions of city names and the city names discussed most frequently. Which type of natural language processing workload does the solution use? Your options are speech recognition, sentiment analysis, key phase extraction, entity recognition. And friends, the correct answer here is entity recognition. Also called as named entity recognition is an NLP workload that identifies and classifies entities such as city names, people, organizations, and dates in text. Since the solution analyzes social media posts to extract mentions of city names and determines which cities are discussed most frequently, it aligns with entity recognition. Question number 29. For each of the following statements, select yes if the statement is true, otherwise select no. And friends, the first statement is a bot that responds to queries by internal users is an example of a natural language processing model. And this is a correct statement. NLP enables the bot to process text input, extract intent and provide relevant answers, making it an example of a NLP model in action. Now, the second statement is a mobile application that displays images relating to a entered search term is an example of a natural language processing workload. This is an incorrect statement. While the app processes text input in the form of the search term, it primarily involves information retrieval and image processing rather than natural language understanding or generation. Now, friends, the third statement is a web form used to submit a request to reset a password is an example of a natural language processing workload. This is also an incorrect statement. A web form typically consists of structured input fields like email or username and processes the request using backend logic, authentication and security mechanisms rather than interpreting or generating human language. Next question, folks. You have a website that includes customer reviews. You need to store the reviews in English and present the reviews to users in their respective language by recognizing each user's geographical location. Which type of natural language processing workload should you use? Your options are key phrase extraction, speech recognition, language modeling, translation. Now, folks, the correct answer here is translation, also called as text translation, which is a cloud-based REST API feature of the translator service that uses neural machine translation technology to enable quick and accurate source to target text translation in real time across all supported languages. Question number 31. You have a security system that analyzes images from CCTV to provide authorized staff entry into restricted area. Which type of computer vision does the system use? 
Your options are optical character recognition, semantic segmentation, facial detection and facial recognition, image analysis. And friends, the correct answer here is option C. Facial detection is used for identifying faces in the images and facial recognition is used for matching detected faces with a database of authorized personnel to determine access. There are two links on your screen. Go through the link to understand how facial detection and recognition works in Azure. Question number 32. Match the machine learning models to the appropriate description each model type may be used once, more than once, or not at all. The three models in the question are classification, clustering, and regression. Now friends, the first description is a supervised machine learning model used to predict numeric values. Now friends, regression predicts continuous numeric values. One such example can be the use for predicting house prices based on features like size and location. Now, the next description is a supervised machine learning model used to predict categories. Classification predicts discrete categories. One such example can be identifying emails as a spam or not spam. Now, folks, the third description is an unsupervised machine learning model used to group similar entities based on features. And friends, clustering is an unsupervised learning model that groups similar entities. For example, you could use it for customer segmentation based on purchasing order. So folks, I hope you now understand why I have chosen a particular model for the particular description. But if you still have any doubts, please post them in the comment section. Let's look at question number 33. Select the answer that correctly completes the sentence. The interactive answering of questions entered by a user as part of an application is an example of your options are anomaly detection, computer vision, natural language processing, forecasting. Now friends, interactive answering of user entered questions involves understanding and generating human language, which is a core function of natural language processing, also called as NLP. It enables applications like chatbots, virtual assistants, and customer support systems to interpret user queries and provide appropriate responses. Now friends, anomaly detection identifies unusual patterns in data. Computer vision deals with analyzing and interpreting visual data and forecasting predicts future trends based on historical data. Next question. You are building a chatbot that will use natural language processing to perform the following actions based on the text input of a user. Accept customer orders, retrieve support documents, retrieve order status updates. Which type of NLP should you use? Your options are sentiment analysis, named entity recognition, translation, language modeling. Now friends, you should make use of named entity recognition in this case as named entity recognition is an NLP technique used to identify and categorize key entities in text such as product names, order numbers, customer names and support topics. Folks, if you are liking the content, do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe the channel. Let's look at question number 35. You plan to develop a bot that will enable users to query a knowledge base by using natural language processing. Which two services should you include in the solution? Your options are language service, Azure bot service, form recognizer, anomaly detector. Now friends, language service enables NLP capabilities like intent recognition, question answering, and entity recognition, allowing the bot to understand user queries and fetch relevant knowledge base responses. So should be included in the solution. Azure bot service provides the framework to build, deploy, and manage chatbots that interact with users. So another one that should be included in the solution. Now, form recognizer is used for extracting data from structured or semi-structured documents like invoices and forms, not for NLP-based knowledge retrieval. 
and anomaly detector is used for identifying unusual patterns in data for example fraud detection monitoring not for chatbots or nlp tasks so i hope you now understand why i have not chosen form recognizer and anomaly detector as the correct answers here let's look at question number 36 select the answer that correctly completes the sentence natural language processing can be used to your options are analyze video content, generate speech, classify email messages as work related or personal, classify images. Folks, you can use it to classify email messages as work related or personal. Analyze video content is not correct because analyzing video content typically involves computer vision techniques. Generate speech can be related to NLP, but is more directly associated with speech synthesis. And classify images is not correct because classifying images typically involves image processing and computer vision techniques. Next question. You need to develop a mobile app for employees to scan and store their expenses while traveling. Which type of computer vision should you use? Your options are face detection, image classification, object detection, optical character recognition. Now, since employees need to scan and store expenses, OCR will enable the mobile app to convert printed or handwritten text into digital format for storage and processing. Now, friends, there is a link on your screen. Feel free to go through it to understand how to implement the requirement being talked about here. Question number 38. Your company manufactures widgets. You have 1000 digital photos of the widgets. You need to identify the location of the widgets within the photos. What should you use? Your options are computer vision spatial analysis, computer vision object detection, computer vision image analysis, custom vision classification. Now friends, computer vision spatial analysis is used for analyzing human movement and spatial relationships show incorrect choice here. Custom vision object detection is used to identify and locate objects within images by drawing bounding boxes around them, making this the right fit for this requirement. Computer vision image analysis provides general insights, for example, tags, descriptions and category detection. And friends, custom vision classification classifies images into categories. Next question. You have an Azure machine learning pipeline that contains a split data module. The split data module outputs to a train model module and a score model module. What is the function of the split data module? Your options are scaling numeric variables so that they are within a consistent numeric range creating training and validation data sets, diverting records that have missing data, selecting columns that must be included in the model. Now folks, this split data module in Azure machine learning is used to divide a data set into multiple subsets, typically for training and validation purposes. In a machine learning workflow, a portion of data is used for training the model and the remaining portion is used for validating or testing the model. So folks, that's all for this part of the series. We will be back soon with more such questions in our Azure AI Fundamentals Ultimate course. So stay tuned, keep watching and keep liking the content.